We're staying here for a few days at Mount Kevatar, at Dawson Springs camping area. Beautiful. It's about four and a half thousand feet above sea level. And there's some great little walks around here. So we'll do them over the next few days. Kevatar is close to Narrabri, about a seven hour drive north northwest of Sydney. The National Park is about 40 kilometres to the east of Narrabri and climbs to around 5,000 feet. We'll be staying at Dawson Springs camping area. This camping area is very well set up. Excellent showers and toilets, very, very well looked after. Great picnic area and barbecue area. and the locals like to come in and make you welcome. The first walk we're doing is the Banda Bulo walk. And that leaves the camp and we'll head down to the south. But we're going to take the nature trail and then follow the summit trail up to Mount Capitar then retrace our steps and continue on the walk to the south, passing and having a look at Horse Arm Creek, Eckfords and Bandabilla lookouts before heading north, not using the Mount Lindsay uh, track, but we're going to head back to the road and back to the camp. The track starts from the camping area and after about 50 metres we come to this turn off to the nature trail. This nature trail has been very very well set up so that anybody can access it. The whole track is sealed, gives you great views of some of the scenery and native flora and fauna. And it has been built, I believe, probably for wheelchair access. They built this boardwalk right down from the camping area. What a great job. A little bit further along, we uh, leave the nature trail and head up onto the summit trail. It's not very far up to the summit. Here you can read about how the road was put through. There's a great viewing platform, including the tree pillar. And this platform gives you great views right around from west, round right to the north, and round right to the east. Beautiful country. From here, we retrace our steps back to we get onto the Bundabula Walk. From here, the track climbs up onto the plateau. Once on top of the plateau, we do a right hand turn to head down to the three lookouts. The first set of lookouts is Horse Arm Creek, and that's pretty well accessible by everyone. 
again a nicely formed lookout gives you great views down to the south west retracing our steps back on the link track we head towards Eckford's lookout Again we arrive at the small track leading off to the lookout. And quite a little narrow metal boardwalk has been put in to protect the, uh, the grass. But the view from here is fantastic, right round from west down to the south and round to the east. From here you can see a hundred kilometres. Looking down, you can look into the Scott River Valley, quite a steep valley. We follow the track down till we come to the third of the lookouts, which is actually Bundabulla lookout itself. There's no real lookout, the track just takes you down to the rocks at the top of the cliff. So be careful. We retrace our steps and follow the track up to the road back to the camp or we could have turned right onto Mount Lindsay to get another lookout. <laughs> 